Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So if you're new, my name is Shelby Sherwood and today's video is all about 2017. It's insane to even think that 2018 is literally right around the corner. Like where has time even gone? I have no idea. I've almost had my channel for almost a year. Almost, we're getting there. Pretty much these are all the beauty products that I have been loving for the entire year of 2017. I'll be honest. There's a lot here. I could not break it down more than this. I tried my hardest, but there's just so many good products that came out this year, so I just need to recognize every single one of them. Let's get into this best of 2017 video. I'm gonna start with skincare first. I just have one product that really stood out to me, and then we're gonna go right into makeup. So first up, this is the Tatcha Pore Perfecting Water Gel. Whenever I use this, my skin just overall looks and feels better. I don't know what is in this little bottle, but it is so good. This is a little more pricier, but every time I use that, I notice that my skin texture got 100% better, my acne went away, the oiliness was controlled a little more, it just made my skin overall just feel so much better and look better, so I had to mention that because that has been my lifesaver. Now on to makeup. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I've gone through probably like five of these. I use this every single day before I do my makeup and at the end to set my makeup a little bit too. And I just feel like this hydrates a little bit, wakes your skin up. It's just a great primer overall and any skin type can use this. So it just adds a little bit of hydration before you put some foundation on your face, you know? So now on to other primers. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. This is so good. Ever since I picked this up, I cannot stop using it. I feel like my foundation stays on a little better once I apply this, so this is definitely a staple in my collection. And then also another primer that is mainly for pores and just smoothing out your skin completely, and I 100% stand by, is the Benefit Professional. It took me a while to get on this bandwagon because I was like, wow, $30 for a primer, and there's only... 0.75 fluid ounces in it. I was like, that's not a lot of product. That's not worth my money. Like, screw that. I didn't even think about buying it. And then one day I was like, you know what? I want to try this out because I see a lot of people trying this out and loving it, like obsessing over it. So I was like, I want to try it out. And I'm one of those people now. It's just overall a beautiful primer to put underneath your foundation. If you want a smooth canvas, this is the sucker for you. So now on to foundations. The first one has always been my holy grail ever since I started my channel. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Any single type of skin type can try this. It looks good on dry, it looks good on normal, it looks good on oily, because I used to have extremely oily skin. It just looks so beautiful. It looks skin-like. It's gorgeous in photos. You can build it up to extreme full coverage without it looking disgustingly cakey. So, this is so good. The next one is the YSL All Hours Foundation. This one is extremely expensive, but I think this is the one that controls my oils the most. I know there is a lot of alcohol in this, so pretty much you have to decide for yourself if you want to get this, but I personally did. It says it's up to 24-hour wear, flawless matte, full coverage, and oil-free, and it has an SPF of 20. This is extreme high coverage with just the tiniest amount. And it just makes your skin look beautiful. The next one is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. <laughs> this foundation is so lightweight. So lightweight. Like, you can't even feel it on your skin. It's pretty much like medium coverage, but you can build it up to full if you want. And it doesn't look cakey at all. It looks gorgeous. It has a pump as well. And it's just... It has a shit ton of product in it, too. It has 1.08. You don't see that in a foundation nowadays. And then the last foundation is like a newer foundation, but I had to include this because this is my favorite foundation now. It's my all-time favorite. It's at the top. It's at the top of the Christmas tree. This is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. This is so 
full coverage, I cannot even explain to you how full coverage this is. The only downside about this product is it dries down fast. So I have to do one side of my face, blend it out with my beauty blender, and then I can do the other side. If I try to like dot it all over my face and blend it out, it doesn't work out. So if you're having that trouble, I would just do half and then the other half and then it just it looks so good. Especially with my oily skin, it really controls those oils throughout the day and it just this one is the one that lasts forever and just looks the best. So I have two concealers. One of them you guys can probably guess. Handy Dandy Tarte Shape Tape. Do I even have to explain myself with this one? Full coverage, lightweight, gorgeous, doesn't sink into fine lines, just is overall the perfect concealer. If you want a light coverage, you just literally put one tiny dot, blend it out, and it's gorgeous. If you want full, cake this sucker on, blend it out, and it still looks freaking fabulous. Tarte, I don't know how you did this, but I'm extremely disappointed that you raised the price to like $27. Why couldn't you keep it at like 23? Wasn't it at 23? I'm pretty sure it was at 23, but I'm going to still buy it because it's that good. Another concealer that I've been obsessed with lately is the Kat Von D Locket. This is also very full coverage, but it doesn't feel heavy underneath the skin. It blends out gorgeously. It, this one does sink into fine lines just like this much, but you just have to pat it out before you set underneath your concealer, and then you'll be fine. Okay, and I have one setting powder that I've been using non-stop. If you go back into all my videos and you look at what setting powder I use, it's probably this one. This is the Cover FX Just Loose Setting Powder, and this is in the shade Translucent Light. This one is completely empty. I know you can probably see like a little product in there, but I can't get it out, so... I've gone through so many of these. It's honestly the lightest and most finely milled powder I have ever tried. It feels so lightweight on the skin. It doesn't feel cakey underneath the eyes. I hate when powders feel cakey underneath there, so I was like, no, I need a good powder to set and bake my face with, and this one just makes you look airbrushed. So good. I have two bronzers. One is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in Tantastic. This one was limited edition. I heard they're coming out with it again. So if you want to snag this puppy, I highly recommend it. I try to use a little bit of this at a time. I don't let, try to use this every time I do my makeup just because it is limited edition and I'm that obsessed with it. But I did use it today, so... It's a gorgeous, gorgeous bronzer. It's just so natural looking. It looks perfect on my skin tone. It's so soft and buttery and smells good. It's just such a nice bronzer and I'm very happy I picked this up because it is a little expensive, but it's so worth it. Another bronzer that is a little cheaper, but just as good quality is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is in the shade Medium Deep and it's the perfect color for me right now, just because I am very pale. But this is also smells very good. I don't know what it is with bronzers and smelling good with me, but they just all smell good. And this one blends out gorgeously. It looks very nice on the skin, doesn't clump up, isn't too ashy. It just is an overall awesome bronzer. And I think this is like $30, so it's about $20 cheaper than the Marc Jacobs. Let's move on to blushes. These are very affordable blushes, and I've used these so many times. They are the Wet n Wild um, Blushes color icon blushes and I have the shades mellow wine and pearlescent pink these are my two favorite colors this one has a little bit of shimmer in it but it doesn't really show up on my skin I don't really like shimmery blushes but you can't really tell with that one and this is just like a overall just neutral pink color that I feel like everyone would love in their collection but they're so pigmented go in with a light hand blend it out and it looks gorgeous and they're like $3. They're so worth it. Speaking of Wet n Wild, let's talk about their highlighters. These are so blinding. I couldn't think of the word, but these are so blinding. This is the shade Golden Flower Crown. It's more of a golden color. And then this is Precious Petals, and this is more of like a champagne-y pink color. 
These are two of my favorites. I know they have more, but these are just my favorite colors just because they're neutrals, you know, nothing crazy. These are literally high-end quality for drugstore price, so try these out. Another highlighter that I've been loving are the Ofra highlighters. I definitely love Rodeo Drive a little more than Blissful just because this one's a little more golden. It's a little more, you know, this one's a little more champagne-y so I do reach for golden highlights a little more. These are the most pigmented highlighters I have ever tried and they just look so pretty on your skin. I'm actually wearing Rodeo Drive today, so this is like a little sneak peek of it. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my goodness, I can't get enough of these highlighters. So another highlighter a lot of people have been obsessing over is the Becca Champagne Pop. It's very creamy, it's very finely milled, it's not too shimmery on the skin. It just gives you a nice, beautiful glow. So, Becca, love your highlighters. I have two mascaras. This is the Maybelline Big Shot. I really love this one because the wand is not too fat, so I necessarily use this a lot for my bottom lashes. And then I have the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. This is like a dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I feel like a lot of people know that because there was a big old thing about it. But I love this wand. I love the formula of the mascara in it. It's just such a nice mascara. It does sometimes have too much product on it, so I just have to wipe some of it off. But it lifts my eyelashes. It makes them very voluminous. Separates them perfectly. It's just like such a good mascara. I have two eyeliners. One is just like a gel eyeliner, and then one is like a pod. So this is the Marc Jacobs Highliner in the shade Blacker. This is the best eyeliner I have ever tried. Ever. This is so worth the money. If you do not have this and you wear black eyeliner like this a lot, just like in this little stick, go buy this. Like I regret not buying this earlier because I was using like crappy ones from the drugstore. And honestly... They, I think they were expired probably, but my eyes would always water when I applied like the crappy ones. And this one is just so black, so pigmented, blends out if you want to smudge it underneath your lower lash line. It just is such a, mm, it's such a perfect eyeliner and it's 100% worth every single penny because this has been my baby. This is the only one I reach for. I need a lot more colors. And then the next one is the Sigma Gel Eyeliner in the shade Wicked, or aka Black. I use this for my wing all the time, and this is waterproof. It does not move. It does not budge. It's the best pot eyeliner that I've ever tried. I never used to get my wing, like, really precise and just really perfect along my entire eye. And this one allows me to do that. So, obsessed. So let's talk about my eyelashes. The only ones that I wear in every single tutorial, in every single look. <laughs> These are the Ardell Wispies. So this is like a little pack that I bought, but they look like this. They're very fluffy. They're very wispy. Um, they're more of a natural lash. I don't really like intense, bam, in your face lashes. I like very natural, pretty, subtle lashes, but they still give your eye look a little uh. So... These are very affordable. You can find them at any drugstore, I believe. Ulta, Kinney Drugs, oh my god, anywhere. Target. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I ran out of this so many times, and I still have not bought a new one. But it's completely out, and I love this brow pencil. I used to use pomades, and then my eyebrows were just getting too much, too, like, too bold. That's the word. Too bold, and... I just didn't like the look of it anymore, so I switched to pencils, and then I got the hang of that. So, this is just a very natural, easy brow pencil to use. I think this is definitely a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And to keep my brows in place, all year long, I've been using the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. I 100% stand by this. If NYX wants a sponsor for their eyebrow gel, I will gladly be their sponsor. It holds my eyebrows in shape all day long. It's like $5 at the drugstore. I just comb it through. 
and they stay. And that's all I need my eyebrow gel to do. This is also in clear, so that's what I like to use just because I fill mine in a lot and then I use the clear over it. And it works. It works. So to keep my eyelashes on, I've currently been obsessing over the House of Lashes eyelash glue. I used to use the Duo Lash Glue in clear and it just was not worth my money at all. My eyelashes were constantly coming off. It wasn't staying. So I tested out this House of Lashes one and this is so worth the money. It's only $9 at Sephora, I believe, and it is so worth it. My eyelashes do not move. They do not, they don't come up on the insides at all anymore they don't move they don't budge they stay all day long so comfortable to have them on I'm so happy I picked this up because it's so worth it so in the beginning of the year I was obsessed with this Anastasia modern renaissance palette I just feel like this is an overall very good palette it has everything you want in it like every single tone every single neutral color a little pop of color the eyeshadows blend gorgeously. Not sure about their other palettes, but I know this one does, and stand by this baby. I stand by it. Of course, I have to mention the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. I have not set this down since I've gotten it. I've used it in every single eye tutorial. It's starting to get a little beat up. Yeah, so it's totally worth the money. I know she's coming out with one in Ulta, where it's like got a shiny cover so it doesn't get dirty like this. The eyeshadow range, just the pigmentation, the blendability, it's there. It is there. So I 100% stand by this palette. This is my all-time favorite palette since I've gotten it. So I've always been a die-hard fan of Kat Von D's lipsticks. I have one, two, three, four, five. I only have five of her colors um, just because they are a little more expensive. They're about $20 each, but I've always stood by her lipsticks. I love the formula. I love her colors. I love the Dofa applicator. And then also, I've been obsessing over these ColourPop lipsticks. I love the Ultra Matte Lips and the Ultra Satin Lips. If you're looking for a lipstick that is literally $5 each and you want a variety of colors, ColourPop is the way to go. I have so many of these. I literally have a drawer full of just ColourPop lipsticks right there. <laughs> full. I just love the formula. So comfortable on the lips, not over drying, stays a good amount of time, and there's just so many colors. Like, look at how cute these colors are. And then the last lip product is this Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. This gloss is the perfect gloss for every single person out there. It's 100% worth it. I love the shade. It's like a neutral pinkish nude. So like you can put it over a lipstick and it won't change the color of it. It will just make your lips look so juicy and delicious. It's not like goopy where it's like and it's gross. It's so comfortable to wear. It lasts a good amount of time. It's just so pretty. I've also been obsessed over this Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I use this every single time I do my makeup pretty much. This has always been my number one go-to. My makeup stays on all day long. It doesn't budge. It sets everything in place gorgeously. Gets rid of that little powdery look. It just is so good. And the sprayer is awesome. I love the sprayer on this. So I've been obsessing over the Black Beauty Blender. Mine is disgustingly gross right now because I need to clean it. But I think the Black Beauty Blender is the best beauty blender that they've ever come out with. I believe it's called like the Pro. But it's just so good. My makeup looks so flawless if I use that beauty blender compared to other sponges. I don't know what it is. And then the last product are brushes. These brushes are the best brushes that I have ever tried since I've ever started doing my makeup, honestly. They are the Wet n Wild Pro Brush Set. These are just a few of them, but you can see I use them constantly. I just used them on my entire face. These are the only ones I reach for. The eye brushes are the softest brushes I've ever tried. Even the face brushes are so soft. It makes your makeup just look so much better. I don't know how, but I've already washed them. They don't shed. 
at all. They keep their shape, they're just as soft, and they're just so good. I believe you can get the full set for $30, which that's what I got it for, and they're just so worth the money. So that is all my products that I've been obsessed with for this whole year. This year has been a crazy year. I started my channel this year. I just feel like it was a good year, and I'm excited for 2018 because I just feel like 2018 is going to be my year. I cannot wait to see what the future holds. I can't wait to see how big my channel grows, how big the S squad grows. I cannot wait. So if you have not already, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat. They will be all linked down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this best of 2017. I had a great year and honestly I couldn't have done this year without you guys. I'm very thankful for each and every one of you for subscribing, for watching me, to giving me thumbs up. I appreciate everything that you guys do for me and I cannot wait to see what 2018 brings. So I will catch you guys in 2018. Bye guys.